hi guys you are welcome to my youtube channel today i will be showing you how you can model analyze and design a steel structure with Prata structure 2018 so let's get into it okay so just come to um, new projects and then we can give it a name let's say um steel structure then okay and then i'm going to pick any of these so let me just pick the uk of bs810 or any anyone and then you import okay then we go to the orthogonal axis generator then you just drop it anywhere all right so i'll be using the default um axis that we have here then okay so if that is done i will just go to the story menu which is here then you click and then you insert story let me insert um two stories and then okay yes okay then the next thing is you have to edit the story I want to edit it from 3000 to 2500 per story. Okay, that will be the height of each story, and then that will be everything I will do here. You can also say this is um ground, and then you know, just put uh, what's it called description. Then let's say first, first floor, right? And then okay, so you can see the description you put here that is ground first and everything. Okay, so let's go back to the um first story, which is ground. And then uh, we have to insert the columns and the beam. So let me start with the um, with the column. Okay. So you pick your column, and then you come here to change the section here. So I'll be picking. Um, now let me go to UK here, and then I'll pick UC. So I'll be picking 254 by 89. Then select, and then OK. Since I'm needing a column throughout all of these i'll just drag all over just drag all over okay then that will get you a column for all of these points okay so um the next thing will be to do for the column so and the beam so select here i'll pick the universal beam okay so i'll be needing 205 by the 146 by 37 okay so select and then center to center just drag all over it will break you don't need to worry yourself by doing no bound like you can just left click or you escape so that you can close that chain okay so i'll left click okay then you can just close so we are done with that what i'll just do is i want to copy all of these the beam and the column i want to copy to the next the next story since i'm having an identical um structure so to do that i will just come to the story menu and then you go to generate story so everything in ground floor i want to generate it to the first floor okay so this is the source and the target will be the story too then okay then yes so the process has been completed all right then you can close let's see what we have in the 3d okay so you can see we have identical um story okay so i've copied what we have in the ground floor to the first floor okay so that's all for the steel um for the column and the beam so what i'm trying to do is i want to use every steel member that is present in project structure okay, so we've used the column we've used the steel so now i want to use the growth okay so i will connect this part and this part i mean the bottom one the bottom column so this bottom column and this bottom column just select them and then you have you can see so there will be a gut there but i want to adjust the spacing of this girl the spacing is um 1000 so i'll adjust it to 500 then there will be an increase in the number okay so you can see there is an increase in number you know decrease in spacing is actually increase in number okay so okay so i'll do the same thing for here pick this column and then this column okay so pick this column and this column then we insert the girls okay this one and this one okay um this one and this one okay this and this okay okay so let's do for this side and then click this click this just a single click um, this this okay this and this then okay so I'll pick this this okay i won't put garrett here so this side can serve as the entrance okay so i'll put one here and put one here all right so you can see i've used guard for the bottom so for the top i want to use a brace okay so um use brace steel brace 
so pick this column and then this column in one of my previous videos I've used Xbrace so right now I'll be using um, Vbrace okay so I'll be using Vbrace and then something else you can do is you can decide to invert it you can see this is coming downward so let me just invert click on this you can see this will go up okay so we invert some we will invert the other way around the king so this and then this okay let me see this column and this column this one and this one this and this okay so let's press this side and this side i'll just have to invert it okay, so you click on this so that we can change the direction then okay so do for here and here okay here and here okay so this one and this one okay this one and this one okay this one and this one okay okay so that's good enough the next thing now to do is we need to place um the steel truss okay so i'll go to steel truss and then i'll pick here which is the intersection point and then here okay so i'll be selecting this one and then i will change the the height so the left height which is here from 500 i will change it to 1000 okay and then this i will change to 2000 okay so you can see one side is going higher than the order all right then i also be concerned about the members what kind of member do i have i have rhf that is a rectangular all okay so i will double click on that so i will change it to angle so come to ua which is angle then i'll change to 120 now change to 100 by 100 by 10 okay so select okay so the bottom chord i'll do the same thing um ua 100 by 100 by 10 diagonals i'll use the angle on equal angle 100 by 100 by 10 U E means on equal angle okay so the rhf u m 100 by 100 by 10 select okay and then the verticals the verticals is already so that's all so just click on okay and then you can see that so i'll just keep placing at every point that they are needed here and then here okay so that's all then i will escape so we are done with the truss i just need to connect the bottom cord of the trusses with pore line okay so you come to um pore line this is pore lines then to do that just pick the first truss and the last truss you want the pore line to reach to okay so there are two kind of generational method we have the by truss joint and we have the by spacing if you look at this this is by truss joint so if you look at this um truss you see this is a joint you have a pore line on that Look at this there's a joint you have a pore line on that there's a joint here you can see at every joint you have a pore line okay so another one you can do is you can do by spacing so you have to specify a particular spacing you want it to be so be it joint or no joint there will be a pore line at every specified spacing okay so the spacing is 1000 which is the default that is enough but i will just use 500 that may be uneconomical but i just want to use it for the you know for the purpose of showing and then you know just seeing all right so if you wanted to you know this is um if you wanted to cantilever outside the bit you can increase this if you want to cantilever outside let's say left cantilever left cantilever let me change it to 1000 first i see you can see that the back here it has cantilevered outside okay so what about here you can see 1000 okay you can see it has also cantilevered so so but i don't want to use that so i'll just change to zero okay so let me click on um okay what is the profile let me use angle bar for it okay this is um channel so let me use let me go to this side and then i'll use angle bar and then the least i have is 90 okay so let me just use 90 by 90 by 8 so select okay and then okay okay so you can see i have my ball line as well you can see it is angle bar okay so that is all for the modeling so what we just need to do now is do the analysis and then the design
so to do that come to analysis tab go to building analysis because we are going to run static analysis for it okay so just come to loading combinations and then you go to loading generator i can create form factor and then okay and then okay okay so after the loading generator you can come to edit material to edit the material so for the trust member i will like to leave it in 355 that's great 355 for the pole line i will change that to um 275 to 235 is even enough 235 and then for the guards let me use 235 and then the um the bracing i will use um 275 okay so okay and then okay so you can now do the analysis so the B analysis make sure you check it and then check your steel and then start so this will do the B analysis and also do the um do the design the steel design so right now the still doing the building analysis you can see the student the analysis of the building so right now it is doing the steel member design check so it has finished the design as well so click on okay and then let's see um the members so let's see the column could your column all passed you can see everything pass 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 and then you can see the grade is 355 okay what about the beam everything passed as well you can see pass 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 so if none pass you have to fix it okay and then the brace okay all the brace passed okay then what about the pole line we only have one pole line then it's passed you can see even the standard ratio you can see it is very uh, minimal okay and then the the guards okay the guards passed but the standard issue is not good enough okay so and then the steel let's see the truss okay it also it also passed even though the standard issue is not good okay okay so this is basically how you model analyze and design a steel structure in proto structure in the next video, I will be showing you how we can import this to protest you so that we can detail the connections properly. Okay, so if you like this video, ensure you give this video a like and then make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can as well turn up the notification button to receive notifications whenever I post a new video. Thanks for watching.